YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Hooniverse Review Universe. This episode we're going to be going over a review of The Ambassadors of Death. This is story number 53 and it originally was aired from March to May 1970. This features the third Doctor. This is his third storyline. And in my opinion, this is one of the best third Doctor stories there is. If there were a top five episodes of each Doctor list, this would be in Third Doctor's list for sure. This is kind of a long-winded storyline. Uh, it is seven episodes long, which is part of the reason I have taken so long to get this review out. I have seen this on VHS, and the transfer from VHS to DVD is completely different. This is one of the biggest differences that I have seen between VHS and DVD. Not only because of the quality is drastically upgraded from the VHS version um, and definitely from the original Airplay, but in this release, the DVD has color episodes that the VHS in any previous home release has not had. The color episodes have been lost. Episodes 2, 3, 4, and 7 were previously only released on home video in black and white. However, they have since used restoration techniques in order to restore the color back in. And I must say that it actually looks pretty good. There are some places on the DVD um, that I noticed that part of the scene looked like it had been colorized and some of it had not been. Some of it may have been black and white. It might have just been my eyes playing tricks on me knowing that I had seen him in black and white so many times. But needless to say, it is a huge improvement. And I forgot knowing, I had known before that this was going to come with the color. But it actually stunned me because I had forgot momentary lapse of, uh, of memory, I guess. And I had forgotten that it was going to come colorized. So it actually kind of stunned me when I got to episode two. And I had to say, wait, I'm going to go back after watching this. And I had to watch it again on the VHS version to make sure... I was right. Um, and it actually, not only that, the quality is really upgraded. As with any of these DVD releases compared to the VHS, the quality, the clarity have all been upgraded um, and not in that, um, not in the George Lucas sense of the word. Anyway, I don't really know how much I can say about this story without um, giving away too much of the plot. Because this story has so many twists and turns, but here goes. I'm going to try to try to tell you, and I'll just cut out what parts I think um, will ruin the story as I go along. So basically what's going on is Unit is investigating that um, the reasoning behind Mars Probe 7, which a couple astronauts had gone on, a craft called Mars Probe 7 to investigate Mars. They land on Mars, do what they gotta do, they're coming back, and there is no communication. Space Control is trying to get in touch with them, there is no response back. So they send a rescue mission out. And just one guy in another, in another craft tries to link up with them, they lose communication with him as well. So now, Mars Probe 7, Recovery 7, both missing. A total of three astronauts, completely missing. Nobody knows what's going on. So Recovery 7 lands, comes back. They're not able to get any response from Recovery 7, but it does land on Earth. It comes back on Earth. And they go to retrieve it. They finally do. There's nobody inside. Liz Shaw goes in. Liz Shaw, by the way, is the companion in this episode. And she goes in, and um, the Geiger counter is at maximum. It is completely irradiated. There's no way that anybody could have survived in that. Um, and if they would have actually been in that, they would have been completely exposed to high, high amounts of radiation. So here's one little plot twist that I'm going to give away. Because I have to, to really to really give you a synopsis of the story even. This is one that I'm going to give away. There are six huge kind of twists in this in this story, some of them bigger than others, but this is one I'm going to give away. So if you want to skip, I'll put a link right here and it will this link will skip you to 
after the spoiler, and it'll just go to the special features discussion and stuff like that. So if you don't want to get spoiled for anything, click on that now. Okay. So basically, the one thing I'm going to give away is that the three astronauts are then found. They are not the astronauts. They find out that these are alien beings. They are irradiated. They are being held captive. I'm not going to say by whom. And they are being used to... Kind of similar to later on in a different story, uh, previous review, Robot. How the robot in the story, Robot, the very first Tom, uh, Tom Baker story, was used for evil. They are using these... Um, these foreign astronauts for evil, these other non-astronauts, should I say. And the doctor does go up in space and insists that it's him that goes up and finds out. He connects with Mar Pro Mars Probe 7, and he finds the three original astronauts still sitting there, and they think they're on Earth. They think they're in quarantine. Uh, the doctor hears a voice that kind of tells him something. You don't really get to hear what's going on because that's saved for later. Different spoiler, I'm not going to give that one away. And the Doctor finds out what's going on. He comes back and he doesn't really say anything about it. He does say, I know what's going on, but I'm not going to say anything. And shortly thereafter, everything's resolved, everybody goes hap happily ever after kind of thing. Not really going to say what much what goes on, but it takes seven episodes, so there is a lot that goes on. I just can't really say anything to you about it without really spoiling the whole thing and I don't want to do that because there are a lot of great little um, twists in this story that kind of make it what it is and um, it is it is a very good story so basically that's that's it for storyline so as far as extras this thing is another two disc set it has the has only about 44 minutes of extras on the second disc and that is pretty much Tomorrow's Times and the Behind the Scenes. The Behind the Scenes is called Mars Probe 7, The Making of the Ambassadors of Death. Now almost this entire Behind the Scenes featurette, it's about 30 minutes long, and almost the entire thing is on two things. Script writing for the, for the Ambassadors of Death, and stunts. This is a very stunt-heavy story. Um... And it's very early 70s type of stunts. This reminds me a lot of early 70s TV shows that I've seen in, um, as far as fight scenes go. There, there are two types of fight scenes in this. There are fight scenes that are heavy on stunts and very light on special effects as, as far as sound effects and stuff like that. And then there are other stunt. There are other scenes where the stunts are kind of like kind of stage, like on stage kind of play stunts where they're easy like flips and fake punches and stuff, and heavy on sound effects where the sound effects are almost overdone. But that's I mean it's early '70s TV. And then there's another little little tidbit that's kind of kind of a theme to the entire feature it is that this storyline was going on in the midst of the hype of the moon landing the moon landing only happened almost not even a year before the first episode of this aired the world was still up in a roar about this it was still the biggest thing that had ever happened in human history and as far as space exploration was until until recently one of the biggest things that had ever happened in space exploration and science for that matter. In my opinion, this this featurette featured too hard on the stunts and stuff and didn't really talk about the actors, didn't talk about um, much other than the stunts the and the script writing. I mean, it does have a little bit of Terrence Dix and almost every single one of these older ones has um, Terrence Dix, who is one of, the, one of the biggest writers for the show. Although he didn't write this story. So the other main featurette is about 14, 15 minutes long, and it's Tomorrow's Times for the Third Doctor. This is all um, newspaper clippings, 
to show you what the theme was of the critical response to the third Doctor, and it kind of summarizes from Spirit from Space all the way through Planet of the Spiders. So it does a pretty good a pretty good job, especially for only being 15 minutes long. I think this was more informative overall, not really specifically on this storyline, but it was more informative than the featurette, unfortunately. There's also the original trailer for the show, for this storyline that was like coming up um, soon on Doctor Who, and it's kind of like a commercial for this storyline. Then there's also the coming soon, which is Claws of Axos, which is coming pretty soon. Um, November 13th, I believe it is, in the United States. And November 7th in the uh, in Down Under Region 4, uh, Australia, New Zealand and October 22nd in the UK. And then the rest of the special features are the normal PDF materials that they have, Radio Times listings and whatnot, and then a audio commentary on the original disc as well. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, keep tuning in. I'm sorry this one took so long. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Ooh.